Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host Geekman and today I'm going to teach you how to create a glass sphere, not just a glass sphere, but actually an action within Photoshop that will create the glass sphere for you from this point forward. So uh, a couple of assumptions that I'm making right off the bat. First, I'm using Photoshop CC 2015. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. And second, I am using Windows. If you're using a Mac, then when I say hit the control key on your keyboard, that means hit the command key on a Mac keyboard. And if I say hit the alt key, that means hit the option key on a Mac keyboard. So without further ado, let's get started on creating the action for making a glass sphere in Photoshop. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is open up Photoshop and once you do, you're gonna to need to find the actions palette. Now you can find that by hitting Alt F9 on your keyboard, that will bring it up, or you can go to window and go to actions here, which says to hit Alt F9, or you just click on that and that will bring up the actions palette. You can also probably find it on the right hand side of your window under the actions uh, icon, which is a little play button. Uh, it's usually there in the default setup of Photoshop, but since I don't know if you're using the default setup, I just showed you two other ways to get to the actions palette. Now, once you have it open, you want to most likely create a new folder where you're gonna keep your, your actions. So you can click on the uh, create new set uh, folder icon on the bottom of the actions palette uh, and that will bring up uh, a dialog box like so and you can name your set and when you hit OK there will your set be. Uh, then once you see your set you can then go down here to create new action click on that and up comes the new action dialog box and what we're going to do is we're going to name this glass sphere because that's what we're making. We're gonna put this into tutorial actions, which is what I named my action set. You can name it anything that you'd like. Uh, and then we're gonna to go to uh, function key. You can give it a function key. I tend not to use that because uh, that confuses you when you're trying to use other quick function keys. Um, so the color, you can give it a color. Let's, for the sake of argument, give it the color red. So now when I hit record, you'll see that the glass sphere pops up here. And now anything else that you do in Photoshop from this point forward will be recorded in this action. And then when you press play on the action later, it will repeat all of the steps that you have done. This is a good way to automize a lot of things that you want to do in Photoshop that you find yourself doing again and again and again. So I use glass spheres a lot in my uh, artwork, so I figured I would show you guys how to create your own glass sphere. So this is how we're going to do it. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do once we've got this set up is we're going to create a new document at 2500 by 2500 and 150 dpi with a black background. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit Control N on our keyboard to bring up the new dialog box. Actually, let's not do it with that. Let's go up here and File New. And then we will go over here to naming it and we'll name it Glass Sphere. Uh, the uh, type is going to be my tutorial. So like I said, it's going to be 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. So it's a square. Resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Color mode is going to be RGB. We're going to make the color black. So you click on the color square and you make it nice and black down here at the bottom left. Hit OK. Uh, and then we're going to go color profiles, Adobe RGB 1998, and square pixels. Hit OK. And we now have our new uh, image that we're going to create this new um, glass sphere on. So we need to make sure that our, uh, our uh, foreground and background color are standard black and white. So we're going to hit our D on our keyboard to set that to black and white. And then we are going to go to create a new layer, which is going to be Control, Alt, Shift, and N to create the new layer. And we're going to rename that layer Del Me for Delete Me. Okay, once you've done that, you can uh, hit OK. Then we're going to go to Edit, Fill, Edit, Fill, and we're going to fill it with black. Normal 100% Preserve Transparency is off, and we're going to hit OK. 
and now we have a black layer above our black background. Now the reason why I did that, you could use the black background, but then you have to unlock it. And I just figured it's easier because once we're done, we're going to delete this layer and all we will have is our glass sphere. So this makes it a lot easier later on for us to delete something that we no longer need within our action. Okay, so we filled this with black, then we're gonna to go to filter, render, and lens flare. So filter, render, lens flare. And that is going to give us the shine of our glass sphere because glass, ha when light hits it, has a, uh, a reflection, reflect refraction, and uh, a slight glow to it. So this is what's going to do that. So we're going to uh, try and move this where we need it to be. Now, first of all, uh, we want it to be right about like this. See, this is the middle, top to bottom, of our uh, document right here. And we don't want it to be at the middle. We don't want it to be at the top. We want it to be slightly closer to the middle than the top and as close to vertical as possible. We also want it to have a brightness of 115 so that it's a little bit brighter than it is at 100%. And for this uh, example, we're gonna use the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Now you can use the 35 if you like, or the 105 or even the movie prime but for right now, we're going to use the 50 to 300. And when we're done with this action, I'm going to show you how you can play back the action and yet be able to change this one specific option at any time that you want during the action playback. So don't forget, we'll come back to this so that you can then change it to whatever you want it to be. But for right now, let's keep it at 50 by 300 millimeter zoom. So let's hit OK. And we now have our lens flare. Then we're going to go to filter, distort, and polar coordinates. Okay. And we're going to go polar to rectangular. All right. And that, if I zoom out a little bit here, is going to do this to our nice flare. So we're going to hit OK. And there it did it. Doesn't look so good right now. But wait, there's more. Okay, then we gotta rotate this so that the top part here will be on the bottom. And we do that by going to uh, image, image rotation, flip canvas, vertical. And now it's on the bottom, which is where we want it to be because now we're gonna go back to filter, distort, polar coordinates, and we're gonna put this back together by going rectangular to polar. See if I zoom out now, we now have what looks like a sphere with reflections and refractions in it. Hit OK, and there is our sphere. Now, the next part of this is pretty easy uh, because of the size that I made this. Now, I made this image 2500 by 2500. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a uh, elliptical marquee that's slightly smaller than that so that we can cut out this circle from the background, paste it into a new layer, and then we have our glass sphere. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go over here to our elliptical marquee. We're going to make sure that we're on the first button here. Feather is zero. Anti-alias is checked. And the style won't be normal. It will be a fixed size of 2420 by 2420. So that's 2420 pixels by 2420 pixels. Now you can click anywhere on the image and it will create the circle. You can't see it all because it's off the image here. So you put your mouse inside the circle and you can click and drag it to the center and when it snaps into the center you'll see these uh, guidelines show up you just let go and now you've got a sphere that you can cut out and put on a new layer so that's what we're going to do now you're going to hit Control c on your keyboard then Control v on your keyboard to create a new layer with the sphere in it then once you have that we're going to change the name of this layer to Glass Sphere. Glass Sphere. Okay, now once we have that, we can get rid of the, the Delmi layer. We no longer need this 
all this DAC so we can throw it away by dragging it down to the trash can. And now all we have is our glass sphere. But wait, you're wondering why it's all black. How are you gonna use that as a glass sphere? Well, the way that you can use this as a glass sphere is you gotta click on glass sphere and you gotta change it from normal to screen. And now whatever you put underneath the glass sphere will show through it. The black will basically disappear. Now it's still on a black background because our background is black, so you can't see it at this point, but when you use it in your image, this will be transparent for the most part. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could also change the opacity, lowering the opacity so that you can then make it even less, uh, more transparent, I should say. So then once we are done with this, we're gonna hit stop on our actions palette. That's the little square button that will stop the recording. And then, and remember how I said that we wanna be able to change the, uh, the, um, the lens flare that we use and the brightness so that we can change that to suit whatever kind of, of glass sphere that we're looking for. Well, this is how you're gonna be able to do that. Go to the glass sphere um, action and you look down here until you find uh, lens flare. See, it's got lens flare right here. So we're gonna go all the way here on the left and there's a square here that you can click on and that will bring up the dialogue box when you play this action. So that once you play the action, the dialogue box will pop up and you will be able to change that to whatever you need. So let's try this out. So we can close this, we don't need it. And we're gonna try playing the glass sphere. So you select glass sphere and you hit play. And see how it pops up with the lens flare, see how it's all centered. So you don't have to even change that anymore. So let's make it um, more bright. We'll go up to 130 here and we'll change it to the 35 millimeter prime and we'll hit okay. And it will finish the rest of it. And now we have our glass sphere right here that we can use, see? So we turn that off and we just have our glass sphere. And then we can t drag this layer or copy this layer anywhere that we need it to in whatever uh, image that we're working on at the moment. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on creating a glass sphere in Photoshop. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe because I'll be making a new tutorial every Tuesday. Thank you. And once again, this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.